Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we got a very simple little hover effect for you today. We've got these two images here that are black and white. When you hover over, they're simply going to fade to their color versions. Really easy to do. We're not using any extra plugin or, or doing any coding to achieve this today with the Divi theme. It's all built with the inbuilt features. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable a visual builder. And let's go down to where we want to work. And I'm simply going to delete this image right here. It's a simple Divi image module. I'm going to add a new module just to show you how it works. This is going to be a pretty short video. Divi comes as standard with all these light gray modules here. I'm going to simply use a Divi image module. And let's choose an image. Yeah, let's choose something with a bit of color. There we go. Okay, down below the image, if you want to link it or open it in a light box, you can do so here. Just flip the switch if you want to open it in a light box or just put your URL in here if you want to link to something. And as always, best practice, if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off site to someone else's site, put it in a new tab so yours stays open. Don't need a background or an admin label. We can go straight to the hover effect now. If we roll down on the design tab, we've got filters. And the filter we're going to use today is saturation. Saturation is basically the amount of color that an image is showing. Now common to most Divi modules, if you hover over the dark writing here, some icons will appear. If there's one with an arrow, we can set different states for hover and desktop. Desktop's when your mouse is not on it. Hover is for when your mouse is on it. So when we initially see that image, I want it to be black and white or monochrome. So I'm going to pull saturation all the way to the left or 0%. Then when they actually hover over it, click on the little arrow to set a hover state, I want it to be fully saturated 100%. I don't want it to be oversaturated. If you pull it up all the way, the colors just get crazy. 100% is what the image should actually look like. So there we go. On desktop, black and white. On hover, 100% saturation. Now the time it takes to go from one to the other with Divi by standard is 300 milliseconds, which is pretty quick. I'm going to slow this down for a bit of drama. So to do that, go over to your advanced tab, down to transitions, and here you'll find transition duration. There's the default 300. I'm going to take mine up to about five, just over half a second, 600 will do fine. Don't want any delay. And the speed curb I tend to use for these horror effects is ease in and ease out. And that's all there is to it. If we've done this all correctly now, we can save our changes, save the page changes. And exit the visual builder. Roll on down to our image. And there it is. It's black and white. When we hover over it, it should take about half a second to become colored. There we go. That's a nice little image to have on your site. If people are mousing around and that sort of thing happens, it's going to get their attention pretty quickly. And as I say, very, very simple effect to do. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.